Good morning guys. Today we are back with another problem and today's problem is an exciting problem where we find out how to code to find the equilibrium point in an array. So before I start this video, make sure you guys like, share and subscribe to the channel. I have made curated playlist on arrays before and dynamic programming and strings and many other uh, key concepts of DSA. Make sure you guys check out those playlists and that will be very helpful for your placement season. So what you can see today's problem is it is an equilibrium point finding in an array. So you can see that basically will be given us we have to find equal what is an equilibrium point. Let us first decide what is an equilibrium point. So it's just a point where the sum of the elements to the left is equal to the sum of the elements to its right. So say for example we are taking over here an array as three one five two two. Okay, these are the elements of the array. So how do we solve this? So we can solve this with the help we have to find a point. Say for example. Uh, first, we'll be giving uh, the, uh, the indexes of the array. So imagine a point in the middle. So if you will see three plus one plus uh, five, we have to find such a point which where both the sides become equal. Okay, where both the sides become equal. So how do we do that? Say for example, three plus one is four, right? Similarly, two plus two is also nothing but four. So equilibrium point is this one, okay, which is five, which is index two. Okay. So first we have to do our write sum. Write sum is all the elements of the array sum. Okay. So 3 plus 1 plus 5. So we'll get a total sum as 13. Now what we have to do, we have to do our, we have to keep a, keep a left sum variable. Okay. So every time we will start from the index, we, our loop is going to run from the outer loop is going to run from the start to the end. So what you can see is the 0 is the starting index. Okay. That means it starts from 3 and the first element is 3. So now what we are going to do, we are going to do a difference of the present minus the total sum. So we can get a difference as for the first element as 10 and initially the left sum equals to 0. So we every time we are going to check whether my left sum value becomes equals to the right sum values. So you can see that okay so 0 is equals to equals to 13. No right that is not working. So what we are going to do we are going to simply add the array of i to the left sum. Okay so that becomes 0 plus 3 as 3. Now let us go to the second element we have 1. Okay. So in this case we have 1 and our previous difference was 10. So we will do is 10 minus 1 as 9. Okay. And what you can see is is 3 is equals to equals to our right sum. So again it's false, right? It's not equals. So in the third, we get the fifth element, okay, which is the middle element. So in the middle element case, what you can see the previous difference minus the element value going up is 4. Okay. Now we have to do is left sum equals to 3 plus. 3 plus 1 because this element has to be added 4. Now you can see my left sum is equals to equals to my right sum. So that means this thing matches. That means there is a match condition found. So in this case, what we are going to do is we're going to return true and the position where the equilibrium is found is 2. So our answer is 2. Okay. As you can see, the left sum value is 4 and 2 plus 2 is right sum is also 4. That means these are matching. The time complexity for this particular problem is O of n and O space complexity is O of 1. Okay. So now we're going to go to the code section and try to execute this particular set of code. And yeah. So as you can see, I've done over here the right sum. Then I've taken the loop to calculate the sums to the right. And similarly for the left sum as well. Okay. So yeah, that was all about uh, today's problem statement. Make sure you guys like, share and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being here.